Go. When there's a pandemic outside, so we're all stuck inside, and there's nary a place to go. When you're feeling so blue, cause there's nothing to do, you can bring your cares away. Just come to Will's Low Production Value Cocktail Show. Hi, welcome to Will's Low Production Value Cocktail Show. Starring Will. Today's cocktail is the Amaretto Sour. I'm Will, and welcome to Will's Low Production Value Cocktail Show. Uh, and today we're going to be making the Amaretto Sour. Uh, we're going to be making a version of this drink uh, invented by Jeffrey Morgenthaler. Um, but we're going to do a couple of twists on his, uh, namely that we're not going to add any extra sugar syrup. I just don't think this drink needs it. Amaretto is sweet. Um, anyways, so... The liqueur that we're using, as I said, is amaretto. Uh, I'm going to be using disarono, but use whatever you have around. I mean, amaretto is nutty and sweet and delicious, so just use what you have around. It's all really good. I prefer disarono because it's a bit higher proof and a bit less sweet than some of the other brands. Uh, what makes this version really, really special is that it actually like bolsters the amaretto uh, with a bit of high proof bourbon. Uh, Morgenthaler uses Booker's bourbon. Uh, I don't have any around, and it's also kind of expensive, so I'm going to be using Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which is another cash strength bourbon bottled at about 60%. And it's going to be making this, like, give, give this drink like a really big backbone uh, and add a little bit of bourbon flavor, which will make it like really, really special. <clears throat> uh, we're also going to shake it with an egg uh, to give it that like frothy head uh, that you get from an egg shaking drink. So let's get to it. <coughs> so I generally start uh, by separating my egg white uh, out of the drink or out of the uh, egg or from the egg yolk to begin with. Because uh, I tend to mess this up, and so that way you can just sort of like rinse out your glass and try again if you break your yolk. Um, so, just going to pass the whites back and forth between the shells, I'll pass the yolk back and forth between the shells, and let the uh, white fall down. Oh, there we go. Uh, if you feel unsafe using uh, whole eggs, there's pasteurized egg whites that you can buy that are available. Uh, those would be fine. Use about three quarters of an ounce uh, of pasteurized egg whites to get, get into here. Uh, so to this egg white, we're going to add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice uh, that I've got from a scalped lemon here. Not good enough. You don't want to like overpress your uh, citrus fruits. You sort of want to gently press them in. If you get too far into the pith, you'll start making them really, really bitter, uh, which isn't really what you want. So three quarters of an ounce of orange, three quarters of an ounce of cash strength bourbon. If you don't have a cash strength bourbon, uh, use like the highest proof stuff that you have. If you have something that's bottled in bond, use that. Something at 45, use that. And finally, an ounce and a half of amaretto liqueur. I'm gonna be serving this drink on ice, um, but I'm still gonna shake the crap out of it because you really want that egg to, uh, that egg white to get a bunch of air in it. So we're gonna use a technique called a dry shake, which means we're gonna shake this without any ice uh, for you know 20 seconds ahead of time. That will help get it kind of airy and fluffy before we cool it down with ice. Uh, one of the things you should know is that you should sort of be kind of gentle, gentle with this. Um, these things need to be cold to seal properly. So just sort of like gently shake it uh, or else you're gonna spray everywhere. So because we're serving this on ice, we don't want too many ice cubes in here. Um, I've only got like four or five that I'm going to add. And then we'll give it a pretty vigorous shake to get it uh, chilled and to add a bit more air to the end. Let that hang out for just a second. Fill the glass, I'm going to serve it in with some ice. Now I'm going to strain this guy into here, making sure to get as much of that, like the bottom as all the head and frothy goodness there. Uh, you can garnish this drink however you want. Like it's perfect the way it is here. Um, the way that Morgenthaler does it is he does it with a lemon peel and uh, with a cherry. And I really, really like that. I think it makes the drink look amazing. So I'm going to take a nice wide swath of this lemon. Spray it over the top, 
It also helps get rid of some of the like wet dog smell that you can sometimes get from, uh, from using eggs and drinks. So give it a little twist over and sit it. Now I'm gonna to top it with a cherry as well. Just sort of ladle it inside or place it inside where the cherry would be. Oh no, it fell inside, but that's okay. I'll add a second one. Anyways, guys, there we have Morgan Thaler's Amaretto Sour, one of the like all time great delicious cocktails. It's like sweet and citrusy and has little treats of cherries, uh, one of which is sort of floated into the side you can see down there. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna enjoy this a whole bunch. Uh, so cheers, guys. Play us out, Diane. Oh, I wasn't prepared for playing us out.